Okay, so quickly we have to say, the website was very nice. Um, I do, I like how it is, it's quite modern looking. Also, I like the way that they actually pick up their streamers. They hand pick their streamers, and they don't just go for the massive guys, they go for the little guys. I'm glad they can see the benefit in that. Uh, but yeah, that's basically all I had to say, because the video that it was me actually picking my flavours got corrupted, which is very, very fun. So you're just going to see the orders that I picked, and then yeah. On with the video. Make you like and stuff, yeah? Because it took me hours. Look at that energy box. All right, so good thing they put the address on the back. Good job on going the extra mile here, Sunny. Such a clean box. Oh, it's such a nice box as well. Don't show them the address, that would be very bad. Side as well. It came really quickly, I have to say. Now, here we go, guys. Let us just get into it. So, packaging paper, of course. Uh, differences in the way that G Fuel packages, packages their boxes is that they tend to have the packet, the sachets, not just thrown in there. They tend to have them in a little bag, which honestly, it doesn't really make a difference. I really want to see a company that can even rival G Fuel. So far, I've tried a few different companies, and I have never seen one that can rival the G Fuel's taste. Rogue Energy, you know. If you guys want to check out the Rogue Energy video, then try to remember to put it in the description below. Okay, sorry everyone. Sorry about the really dirty kitchen, but but yeah, we have the we have G Fuel shaker, which still actually has some blue ice left in it. Sorry about that. Done. Sneak straight away. It's looking quite. It's looking quite clean. Um, these two lids look exactly identical. From from looking through, this inside. It's the same as this, and Rogue Energy is ever so slightly different. I'm not sure if that's just me. You're gonna, you're gonna get, get, get back on. With Sneak, which I didn't actually notice before, is you get five sachets, whereas with um, G Fuel, you get seven with the starter packs, and it's around the same price. So we have to do keep some of that in mind. To be fair, they are a much bigger company, but G Fuel pricing wise, it's a bit cheaper than um, Sneak, but if you can get a deal on Sneak, like I did, the Sneak was actually a bit cheaper. Sneak, we, yep, we've got strawberry watermelon, sour apple, blue raspberry, stealth, drop killer. I'll put them in order from which one I think I like the most to which one I think I like the least. I feel like they're going to go in this order. Blue raspberry, because right now blue blue ice is my favourite seafood flavour, and I'm pretty sure that's blue raspberry. I never actually bothered checking, it just tastes like it. Sour apple is next. I've never tried sour apple G Fuel flavour. Chop killer. Then Stealth's own original, so you know, we'll give that a try. But strawberry watermelon, I've got the least hopes for, to be honest. But you never know. No, I thought strawberry and banana would be great, but strawberry and banana cheese flavour just isn't for me. Now, time to taste test some of these bad boys. How much water can I put in? 300 to 400 millilitres. We'll put in, we'll put in 15, all right, but yeah. Taste test, we're gonna do blue eye, blue raspberry versus blue eyes G Fuel flavour. But there are some bad parts about Sneak. I, this Sneak would have got to me way quicker than G Fuel do. Delivery service, amazing. But because they're a smaller company, I do understand if they do have to charge more and get less, because they do slightly charge more and get less. But it all comes down to the taste, ultimately. I have to say, I do like the way they package these. I, I like I like the little reflect. They, the way to put in the extra, the extra mile. And also, they don't have that many flavours to begin with, so be, you can even get seven. If they expand in the future, extra, I'm not sure. First smell is... I don't even know what that smell is. Okay, it's going in. Part... Dust particles flying through the air. It smells good. I'm not gonna lie, guys. It smells really, really good. And the stop. It's sort of a whitey blue, which you know it's a very, it's quite a nice color. Okay, now let's have a look at the G Fuel. G Fuel is properly blue. Like honestly, guys, super, super blue. I don't know if you can see that. I've got high hopes for Sneak, I swear, because so far nothing's come close to G Fuel. I'm not sure what they've done. Maybe it's the extra lead they put in there <laughs> in their drinks. Not gonna lie, it looks like I'm butt licking Sneak. I don't mean to be. Um, I'm just happy there is a company that can even come close to beating, to actually beating G Fuel on flavour mainly. I've never seen any, I mean Rogue Energy, 
Rogue Energy, I'm sorry for your company. I get you work really hard on your stuff. But I thought I was going to throw up. Not going to lie. I felt sick after trying Rogue Energy. And it wasn't just my batch. It wasn't just my batch. Every single flavour I had felt really, tasted really bad. And then I tried some more of uh, my friend's flavours. And they still tasted so, so, so bad. So I... You know, give it, give it a try, ultimately. I do highly recommend you give it a try, but honestly... Video down in the description if you want to see. Don't worry, guys, about that. It's only too much lead for some states. It's just not a manly enough state. I've mixed up the lids, for crying out loud. I've mixed up the lids. Get you in. You know, I'm a master at the... Th oh, Jesus. Uh, I have to say, Snake is spilling a bit, uh, a lot. Snake is in. coming out a lot. I'm not sure if I shaped them wrong. Get you in. But always, they always, always spill everywhere. And Snake is worse in that situation than G Fuel. Like, oh my god, it's dripping everywhere. It's dripping everywhere. Like, I mean, I'm not sure if it's just the way I shake the, the bloody, the bloody shakers, but... Snake. If that is if that is the standard of all your shakers, I'm gonna have to start using the G Fuel shaker for everything then, because G Fuel does leak. Don't get me wrong, G Fuel leaks, all right. But that was rain <laughs> all over my bloody trousers on the shakers. I'm sorry, but G Fuel's like a like a a seven, six out of ten, and these were this was like a four or a three. We're gonna give it a retry. Okay, guys, false alarm. I think I had the lid on wrong. Nothing's coming out of that. I'm always scared to let go of the lid. To let go and do it like that. I'm always so scared just in case the lid opens up and it spurts out everywhere. I'm scared. So yeah, sneak. Good job. G Fuel does, does leak a bit. It's not it's not a lot. Oh my god, first taste test. <sighs> let me actually try G Fuel first. As good as ever. As good as ever. <laughs> Shot glass. Water to cleanse my palate. I'm scared. Let me give it another good shake. That is, that is, uh, that's lo that's great. It tastes like two different flavours. G Fuel, a bit more of a mild version of this. This would be great advice. I'm going to get some ice, I'll be right back. If I had to pick a favourite out of these two, I couldn't. Okay, yeah. In fact, yeah, without ice, him. With ice, him. The ice didn't even make different to this one. It was perfect the way it was. It didn't need any more. Maybe even more water, actually, with that one. Wouldn't go amiss. With ice, with ice, this gets a... Without ice, this is a what? Without ice, this one is an 8, 8.5, 9, 8.5 with ice. So yeah, this one this one doesn't really go up entirely. I mean, we're adding ice is nice, but it just doesn't really change that much of the flavour. This one, it's like you're tying it to a completely new flavour. I want to try the rest of them though, because that was a nice, that was nice. So guys, don't have two at the same day, alright? This is a very special occasion. I'm going to be up all night. Look at my tongue. I actually have a stream on upstairs. So yeah guys, if you want to check out my stream, mix.com slash EMPT. We stream most days a week. Uh, you, you guys want to ask me anything more about the flavours or whatever. Okay, this is me having tried all of them. But first, drop a like. Can you please do drop a subscription? Because this is me after three hours. Um, wait, it's two in the morning now. I've been editing since nine. Do the math. I ramble on for hours. Oh my god, hours and hours and hours and hours. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, share it to a friend, whatever you need to do. Anyways, now down to my opinion. Firstly, good points of both. Sneak, great, great taste. I like what their company's doing uh, with their influencers and the people that they are supporting. Um, and they're giving chances to sort of smaller type streamers rather than the bigger, the bigger streamers and actually supporting them with more than just a code, which is, you know, I really like that. They can see that they are really, in, they actually help out with the business. So go kudos to you guys. Sneaks shakers were slightly better than G Fuels, if I have to be totally brutally honest, slightly ever so better than G Fuels. All of Sneaks flavors were good, but now that leads us on to our bad part about Sneak. They tasted very, very similar. They tasted very, very the same. Um, green apple, Trop Killer, the original, Blue Ice, they all tasted very similar. You, you could tell the differences, but the root flavour 
was the same. I have to say, if I had to pick a best, it would probably be the original. But I couldn't order them for the life of me. Because they were so similar. Apple, Trop Killer, I don't think I could... I reckon I might be able to taste them if you gave them to me. But I, I sort of almost doubt it. G Fuel, in that aspect, you can taste the different flavours. Even though most of the other flavours are bad. You can taste them, at least. Whereas with Sneak... All the flavours were good, but they were all the same flavour. I mean, if every flavour tasted like blue ice, except a little bit different, then G Fuel, G Fuel, you know, there there will be great flavours. Uh, that's where blue ice is sort of like. But also, G Fuel, the one that I've tasted, haven't been quite as good as blue ice. They've sort of been bog standard, lower than all snake. So blue ice is the exception. Blue ice is the blue ice G Fuel flavour is better than any sneak flavour. Uh, blue ice with ice. I think that it also depends on your mood. Like, if you're in the mood for Sneak, then it'll beat, it will beat Blue Ice. Nothing beats Blue Ice with ice, but it will beat Blue Ice by itself uh, in general. Because I think if I had to go back and change my score, Blue Ice is better than Sneak's Blue Raspberry. Looking back, I was, I was, um, I don't know, I was excited because Sneak's tasted good. And I, this is the first one that's ever come close to beating G Fuel. But looking back, it wasn't, it wasn't also, as good. Also... Sneak costs more for less uh, in the sachets. In the tubs, I've rec I think they're about the same. But in the sachets, yeah, costs more for less. Unless you get a deal, of course. And there are always his deals on, which is the good part about Sneak. Yeah, anyways, that's about it. If I had to give you one last roundup of which one's better and which one's worse. Sneak is more of a tangy flavour. So the, if your taste buds are pretty sort of... It's hard, extreme, you know, you like spicy things, etc. I'd go with Sneak. Whereas if your taste buds are a bit more bland, etc. I'd go with G Fuel. Give that a little try. It's always good to have some Sneak, but I get that some people can't afford both. And if you can't afford both, I think G Fuel, because Sneak is a bit more of a risky option. It's a risky option that could pay off, but it's still a bit more of a risky option. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Check out the rest of my YouTube content. I stream on Mixer 2. Blah, 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 blah. It's 2 in the morning. I need sleep.